2016. Okay, 2016 paper. It's question two. Scientists have reported that neurons produced in cell culture from human stem cells have the potential to function when grafted into the site of a spinal injury in rats. State why the cell culture medium in which the neurons were cultured should contain serum. You know, this is this is a learn this one and put it in. Okay, serum contains growth factors which help cells. Okay, um, it's a little bit vague to see nutrition. Um, so, and in the mark scheme, they had underlined growth factors. So, um, that's what you need to have, I suppose, provides or gives uh, growth factors. Okay, scientists used a hemocytometer to perform a cell count to calculate the number of stem cells that developed into neurons. A diagram below represents a sample from a culture placed in a hemocytometer and viewed under a microscope. The grid is 0.1 millimetres in depth. Calculate the number of neurons in one centimetre cubed. Okay, so basically we've got to do an awful lot of um, multiplying up here. So start with, let's get our base count of neurons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so my base count is 11. Okay, now... This is one millimetre by one millimetre. So, well, I'm just going to multiply that by 100 to get that into how much would have been a centimetre by a centimetre. Okay, so that would give me uh, this many. Okay, but this is only in 0 0.1 millimetre depth. And I need to get to one centimetre depth. So I you can do it lots of different ways, but... Uh, if you times it by 10, that would give you one millimetre. Okay. There we go. And then if I times it by 10 again, I will get up to a centimetre. That's one millimetre. And there's one centimetre. Okay. Or you could go with uh, multiplying by this up to a millimetre and then taking that as one millimetre squared and then multiplying up to get one centimetre cubed, okay? Or sorry, one millimetre cubed, and then up for that one, okay? Um, okay. Suggest one di disadvantage of cell counts performed using a hemocytometer. Well, it's basically just your list of things that could go wrong. Um, you know, it's, it's a big issue with dead or viable cells. So it only works if you stain them to know if it's a viable cell count that you're given. Okay, it's um, it's determined by how big the cell is in terms of the microscopy and, or how much of a um, amplification you've got. So small cells. And if it's small cells in particular, we have a problem with small cells kind of being behind other cells. So ending up with kind of lumps of cells making it difficult to do a count. Okay, you need them to be spaced out. Um, it, it's difficult. <laughs> um, it's difficult to, to get it all done and that, that means time. Okay, very time consuming. So there's lots of different things that could be a problem with that one. Um, and you are only doing a sample. So therefore, um, we are looking at, at an estimate from that sample. So you have to do multiple samples, which again takes time. Right, uh, bright field microscopy was used to view the cells grafted onto the site of the spinal injury. Another type of biological material could be viewed using bright field microscopy. So basically anything um, that you can shine a light on to see. So I think you would go with uh, any microorganism is probably the best one to do. Um, or you could look at small, other small organisms. Um, you can look at um, tissue samples. Uh, you want to section them through. Um, and since they've said site of spinal injuries, I suppose you could see that in the Mark scheme they had parts of organisms as well. Okay, in, animals invo in studies involving animals, state one way in which harm to animals can be minimised. Okay, so there are three R's that you need to know. The three R's are um, replace, reduce, and refine. Okay, so what you're trying to do here is use any one of these. Okay, so refining the procedure, so you so you basically 
change your techniques so you're not using them as much. Um, reduce the number that you're using. Again, that would be to do with exactly how many you're using in a particular set. And replacement, so that would be taking out animals altogether. So that's probably looking at um, a model system, which is going to be a cell culture, most likely. Okay, question two.